Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today I would like to show you something that's not traditional Polish food. It's something I make for my family and it's one of my favorite uh, Thai dishes. I love Thai food and every time my husband says let's go eat out, I ask for Thai food. Uh, so the inspiration is from a restaurant that I've been to and it's called chicken basil dish. I use ground turkey. Uh, you can use ground chicken or ground turkey, whatever meat you prefer. And I use any vegetables I have in the house. Just cut them up, mix them up, and you know every time they can be different. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. The sauce is always the same. But again, it's very simple, it's fast, and it's healthy. So I hope you like it. Welcome. My favorite Thai food is Thai basil chicken. And when I got home, I decided I need to learn how to do it. So it's kind of my version of, let's call it deconstructed Thai basil chicken. For the sauce, you will need two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of uh, soy sauce, two tablespoons of fish sauce, and about a cup of chicken stock. The veggies I have here, carrots, bell pepper, banana pepper, because I have it in my garden, four garlic gloves, um, this is uh, ginger, Thai basil, and for the sauce, fish sauce, I put just a tiny bit of sweet sauce in it, and lemongrass turmeric paste. And I found those things in Asian store. If you Google Asian stores near you, you can find one, I'm sure. I need to buy regular soy sauce, but this is a substitute for it. Supposedly it's even better, healthier for you. And here is the chicken stock. So everything will go in that chicken stock. I'll mix it up. And once I have my veggies and turkey ready, I'll just pour the sauce over it. And my rice, I cook it in coconut milk mixed with water. I love the coconut flavor in it. I have some chili sauce in here with some olive oil. And carrots will go first because those will cook the longest. Couple minutes later, I will put everything else besides the basil leaves. The basil leaves will go on the end. I love Thai food. That's my favorite restaurant to go into once in a while, besides putting my own food. So once those veggies are halfway cooked, I will put the turkey in. The turkey in the middle here and just uh, press it like this. Let it simmer. Once I see that the uh, meat is losing the pink color, then I can mix it all together. Otherwise, I just keep the veggies uh, aside so they don't get too mushy but i want to make sure the meat is cooked i will add some green beans and broccoli to it and now it's time for my sauce so again this is one cup of chicken broth two tea, uh, tea two, i'm sorry two teaspoons of uh, fish sauce two teaspoons of soy sauce and two teaspoons of honey and uh, I put just a tiny bit of the lemongrass ginger 
and pour it all in. And now it will be simmering for a few more minutes before I put the basil in. The basil goes on the end. Believe me, it tastes amazing with the coconut rice. It's clean, healthy. You can uh, customize your recipe like this, uh, putting your own vegetables that you like best. Sometimes I add chestnuts to it. Today I have enough veggies, so I'm gonna skip this, but for sure next time. So just a couple minutes and then we'll put the basil leaves in and that's pretty much it. Uh, if some of you like the sauce to be thicker, just add a bit of either potato starch or corn starch to it and the sauce will thicken up. But it looks beautiful. Beautiful and it smells amazing. Okay, time for the basil. Another couple minutes and it's done. Very fast, very simple. Delicious, healthy dinner. Buon appetit, smacznego.